Hello, my little gravy boats. We got our park started and I've got some stuff to update you on with the castle. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, uh, let's go. All right, so I'm not sure if I've ever shown this off before or not, but this is the design that we're going for for the wall. It's gonna be pretty much just like this for the inside around because since this castle's here, you're not gonna be able to see it really. And then it'll be the same on the outside of the wall as well, but it'll be a bit more detailed. So it'll be really good because then we don't have to use twice as much of the warped nylium or norped... Norped? Yes. <laughs> this warped the logs. This is the roof that I put on the tower for this section of the castle. And then down here, there's going to be another tower like section here we're not quite sure what we want to do for the top bit just yet but this over here is our portal we just made that last night i gotta make it look pretty though still <laughs> and then this is like our little entrance to that is a cactus farm <laughs> this is our entrance to our i guess castle i don't know what else would be an entrance to and then in here this is like a little courtyard kind of thing that james made so yesterday james made this lava moat thing you just hit the button it makes a bridge and then it'll go away and then when you want to leave you just keep running across it's so very scary so honestly though i've gotten used to it and that was a very bad example do not do that i could have just died but as i was trying to say was i gotten used to it and i've just been kind of running over it which is a bit reckless i guess you could say <laughs> and then in here is our storage system so we've got two ish layers down here is basically like all this stuff that i don't know james wanted to put here i guess <laughs> and then you come down here and we can sort over i think it's like or not over it's 200 exactly we can sort uh down here so we've got the two layers here and of course, we haven't gotten all of them yet that we wanted to sort, but this is for the most part done. Just have to do some decorating and finishing touches for in here to hide all of this. And then we can go back up here and then we'll go up this way. And then here's some other things, our brewing stands and such. This looks like some kind of sacrificial altar. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And then up here is just going to be the projects that we're currently working on. So this is project two over there is project one. We can use these shulkers for the materials we want to work on. So for example, I was working on some houses and stuff, which I will show you guys here in a second, but I can just grab these shulker boxes filled with materials that I want and then go work on whatever I'm working on. Same thing for James. And then here I'm assuming he wants to put maps, maybe. He didn't say. And then over here is the house that I made. I did a little build class with Rosaline. <laughs> and she was showing me how to build more organically, which I tend to prefer the more organic style of building. So I got rid of this second house that was here. I just got rid of the crimson wood and stuff that we had on this one. Because we're doing mainly just the warped stuff, pretty much, with some of the red accents, like the weaving vines and the lo these little do floppy things. <laughs> but yeah, I'll give you guys a quick look around for how I did the outside of this. These candles are really cool looking. And I just used some chains and trap doors. Yeah, for the most part, we're using deep slate. It's pretty much like the only stone type block that we're using. So... For block variation, just all the variations of the deep slate, which looked really good together. And doing variation in this castle is going to be an absolute pain. Because he just built it out of straight brick. And then I'm going to have to go in and do the variation. And it's the same for this wall. I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, but back to this. For here, I just did some concrete concrete powder and wool and then for the roof i just did some copper and of course the warped blocks and then here's the other side i used some cyan candles along with the black and then we're back to the front this fountain is going to be moved and i have 
a plan for a different fountain that we're going to put in the center whenever we find it. All of these farms and stuff are going to be moved outside of this wall here. This is pretty much like our city wall, I guess you could say. And then on the outside is going to be like our farming district kind of thing. So that tall thing over there, I moved my glow squid farm from there to over there and it now makes both glow squid ink and regular squid ink because I just I put it in a river biome thing and then today I did another build lesson with Rosleen and she showed me how to make these custom trees this is the one that she made which looks really awesome and then I made this one which I'm really proud of <laughs> And then this stuff we haven't converted just yet. I think the villager trading hall here is going to be out there as well so that the villager breeder is next to it and it's easier to transport villagers inside if we need to. And then this building, I'm not quite sure what we want to do with because it was some storage, but of course, because we made the sorting system, we uh, James moved all of this stuff out of here. And I assume he's going to move all of the book storage stuff with the trading hall as well so then we'll have to get rid of this building and reconstruct a house kind of like that one over there so that's basically the style that i'm going for with all of the houses that we're going to build in here and we're going to make it just yeah kind of like a little the little city area and then here we're probably going to have a park section still with all of the trees and stuff and i'm thinking i might want to do some crimson ones as well but i'm not sure yet i think it might just clash way too much but we'll see what happens um there's a lot of variation well not a lot of variation but <laughs> there's a variation we could do with the warped stuff for the trees to make it look different but still like obviously match with the warped stuff however i do like the little bit of detail that the mini blocks of the crimson nylium look like on these like little mound things that i made as well as these little like fan things i'm not sure what the what are these called ah crimson roots yes okay so yeah i like having just the little red accents like that it just kind of i don't know ties it in together i think a little bit better these however i do trim i want them to be different sizes like this but I think the other thing besides giving you guys an update on what everything's looking like thus far, I think I might want to start converting this section over here into our little park area, possibly. Okay, guys, a little bit of an update. This is what I've got done so far. Not a lot. It really doesn't look like a lot. But in reality, this was like six or more. I think more. Definitely more. Stacks of bone meal. It's going to take so much just to do just this section. It's insane. Another quick thing that I wanted to add is I did some of the red accents in here. I just added a couple of these little fan thingies and then some of the red mushrooms in flower pots. And then I just added a couple of the warp trap doors to the trees just to add a little bit more texture and stuff in. And I think it looks really nice. Maybe just the red accents is going to be the way to go. All right, you guys, I've got basically an inventory full of bone meal, and I want to see if this is going to be enough. I think it should be, considering how much bone meal I have, but we're going to finish off this whole area here, and then we have to work on this area over here. I'm going to get all this stuff dug out and replaced and get it bone mealed as well. I'm going to do this in a time-lapse type of way, and if you guys don't want to watch it, that's fine. You guys can skip to this timestamp right here to skip over that if you're not interested, and just go right into what I do after that.
All right, you guys, we're done, actually. I got all of it completely swapped out and it's all been turned into the warped Nylium, which looks incredible, I must say. I'm actually really surprised that I was able to do it all because I didn't think that all the bones that I had were going to last as much as they did, but we still got all of this bone meal left as well. I had a shulker box full of bones and turned it all into the bone meal and then I had some left over in our composter over there. And this is all from the composter. I did use, I think, like probably about this many. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mapping out what I want it to look like, the little park area. I do know that I want to have like a lava pool of sorts, like a little lava pond. Other than that, I'm not quite sure. I know I want obviously the benches and some of these little mound things. But yeah, other than that, I'm not quite sure. I do want to make some other custom trees in here as well. I'm not sure if I want like a little stream or something that goes through. It would of course be lava. I'm just going to play around and see what looks good and see where I want to place it all. And then I will bring you guys back in for an update whenever I get all that done. This. This is what I have resorted to. Just so that I could get my three dirt blocks down that I left flying in the air. Why? Okay guys, just a little update. I think instead of the red, I'm gonna do this. We'll have these little soul sand and soul soil mound things with some wither roses and like the mushroom thingies and maybe some of these or like the, maybe even those in the plots. I'm actually gonna take this one and see what that looks like. Let's try that. That could even work, I think. But for this one, I want to do the warped roots instead. Yeah, and then we'll have the blue fire here as well. I'm thinking I like this a lot better. It matches more with the theme, I think, that we're going for. And then on these blue ones, we could just stick with the red accents. And of course, we won't do those. We No, no red. Bad red. So this is what I've got so far. I've got this basalt road continuing in here so we can walk around our park and see all the stuff that's going to be in here. James got the wall built up. I think that's as high as he wants it to be, but I'm not quite sure. And I just used these polished, these polished deep slate. <laughs> and then the warped fences and then the soul lanterns. And I think they make like really nice little lamp post thingies. And then of course, here is our tree. I just made a little lava pond and I usually when I make these kinds of things, I build them up one block. So they're on this level and then I just use stairs to go around it. But I had accidentally dug this out and filled it with lava first. And then I took all the lava back out, built the tree and was like, yeah, I'm not moving this tree up one whole block. <laughs> So I just used these cyan glass panes to go around it and I really like how it turned out because now you can just kind of see inside there, but it's danger free and that's what we like to see. If you guys are interested in seeing me build all this stuff in real time, you can come over to my Twitch. The information is going to pop up for you here and I'll have the link in the description as well so that you guys can watch all of the progress that happens behind the scenes instead of just waiting for little updates here and there. So yeah, uh, I'd love to have you guys over there just to chat, hang out, stuff like that. So if you're interested, pop on over. So for details inside of the tree, I just made it like I did that other one over there and how Rosaline was showing me how to do it. I used the stripped warp wood and then I used some of the warp fences, stairs, and then of course the warped nether warp blocks. And then I just added some panes here and there, added some glass into the top to make it a bit less thick, I guess. <laughs> and then some added light with shroom lights. I got these little mini blocks off of Wandering Traders, so I thought I'd plop one up there to make it just a little something something extra. And then I tossed in a couple of these little soul lanterns as well, just to give it a little bit more detail. And then for this area around, I just bone mealed a little bit, got rid of stuff that I didn't want, and placed some of these 
little fan things. I'm never going to remember what they're called. I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> and then the crimson fungus mushroom things. The warped ones, of course. And yeah. I'm really liking how this part turned out a lot. And I really like these lampposts. The only thing about it is it doesn't give all that much light. So I'm thinking we're going to have to do some alternative lighting. Possibly in the ground here. I could do maybe sea lanterns because they look pretty much the same as that and then I could do something around to like cover them up so that you're not seeing them as much possibly like just do sea lanterns dotted around here and there and then cover them with the warped trap doors but yeah I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far and I can't wait to finish the rest honestly like I want to put some more of the trees in because these trees just look really cool and some other little bits and bobs as well but yeah i think that's going to do it for this one if you guys liked it please demolish the like button gently you know that's very important and if you would also like to you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat i will see you guys in the next episode bye